What's up everybody? So, for today's video, I'm going to show you the new painting that I finished last night. This one is what I call the Sorrow of Tantalus. And as you can see, they have uh, the apple right above him where he can't reach and the water below him where he's just ignoring it at this point because by now he's realized that he can't, he can never get these two things because for those of you that know the Greek myth, um, Narcissus slash Tantalus was uh, incarcerated in Tartarus for his act of basically falling in love with himself and drowning because he was so into himself that he tried to hug his own reflection and ended up drowning and dying. But in Tartarus, the deepest part of Hades, he is condemned to constantly, whenever he's hungry, he tries to reach for the apple and reach for the fruit, but he can never reach it. He will always be, it'll be always just slightly out of his grasp. Um, that's where the word, we get the word tantalizing. It's something that's you just can't grab it. It's that little bit of frustration that's just it's right there, right at the tip. And the water, no matter how, if you stoop down to drink it, it would just, the water level would just go down and he would never be able to drink it until it was, you know, it would dry up right in front of him. So he would constantly be, constantly be thirsty and hungry for all of eternity. Just constantly, everything just slightly out of reach of what he wanted to grab. And so I figured this one is a great subject um, as... Artists, it's very hard for us sometimes to just be satisfied with where we're at. We always, always, we're always grabbing at something, something intangible. The other, you could say, whatever desire it is that we want, we want to be able to make money, we want to be famous or whatever. It, this actually applies to pretty much almost all of human nature, honestly. That it's that the desire within us that holds us back from ever being truly happy because we were always slightly discontent with with what we have instead of being just relaxed and being like, this is life. I'm going to enjoy it as it is. Instead of like, we always want, we want the bigger house. We want the car. We want the new car. We want, you know, we want to be the greatest. You know, we are always in competition with other people because we want that tantalizing thing. It's slightly out of reach. But also, that's what drives us to perfection. That is what drives humans is desire. We want the novel. We want something that is new. We always want to have something different. Um, so it, it, it drives us to evolve ourselves. So it's both a good and a bad thing. Or not even that. It is something you can look at as, not, as being neutral. But you have to realize that you can't let it just take over your life. You can't always be chasing the carrot because you'll never get the carrot. But you should realize that the carrot is good motivation for you to go somewhere, to, to motivate you. It moves you. And, but you have to be careful of what direction the carrot moves you in. So there's lots of tantalizing things out there. But be careful of which ones you follow. And here is the painting that I am currently still still working on it's been what three weeks now sorry i missed last week it was just it's been so hectic lately but here's what i got so far for billy strings just need to finish up the guitar the guitar head the hair a little bit of the tree finish up the stems of the plants then it'll be done and i'm actually really proud of how this came out it looks a lot better than i anticipated but going back to tantalus it's very hard for us sometimes to just be content and I believe that sometimes we should instead of constantly <clears throat> grasping at straws just take a breath sit in silence and just realize that none of those things will will bring lasting peace or happiness because you can get temporary a dopamine rush from you know getting something, but you're going to get more of a rush from the anticipation than you will actually having the wish fulfilled. So remember that. Remember that. Wish, wish fulfillment isn't as tasty as you think it is. It's it produces more uh, dopamine to be tantalized, to 
have it slightly out of reach or anticipate something than it is to actually receive it. I believe there were studies done on this. Just look it up. I don't have the time to like look through all that type of stuff right now. But realize what it does, what it is for us. Desire is a way to motivate us to in new directions and on, on our path. If you desire something, if you desire something that's beneficial for you, you'll go in a direction that's beneficial for you. But if you give in to the desire for things that don't benefit you, now I'm not saying it's something that just is bad for you, because there's lots of stuff that we know it's bad for us, but there's lots of stuff that we also go for that's just not beneficial. It's neither good nor bad, but it does not, you know, it doesn't bring you anywhere. You have to remind yourself to that anything that does not benefit you, any activity, anything you do that does not benefit you, takes you away from doing things that do benefit you and get you toward closer towards the things that you truly desire within yourself. Things that will bring you peace, things that will make you content, things that will help you survive, things that will bring you to the next level of what you never even imagined you could do. Healthy living comes from healthy habits. And if I remember correctly, Aristotle said, a man is merely an accumulation of habits. So keep that in mind. I just want to say, please subscribe to my stuff, as every YouTuber says. Like the video if you, you know, enjoy it, if you got anything out of this. That really helps me kind of gauge um, what people get out of this. Check out my Instagram and my Facebook, Ezekiel Schmidt Art. Check out my website, EzekielSchmidtArt.com, for t-shirts, fucking blankets. I have tons of art, tons of art prints, puzzles, tons of things on there. Lots of stuff for you to go through. And check out my Twitter, Temple of Nooses, for some very witty, um, pseudo-religious quotes. And my my meme page, Dank Memes to Confuse You on Facebook. Lots of uh Lots of dankness there, I'll say that. Some of it might not even be fun to you, but it's always funny to me. So I hopefully you enjoy it. Y'all have a great day. Peace.